hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you what's in our summer solstice basket. Now these baskets, as I mentioned in all my videos, are one of my favourite things to make. These are seasonal celebration baskets that you can pull out at any time through a season. So for example, this could be a great um, basket to pull out on a rainy day or perhaps the last day of school term. Um, and it's just a way of celebrating the season that we're in. And I always use these baskets as an opportunity to rummage through our craft bins, our toy boxes, and also make a list of crafts and activities that I want to do with my children. And this really helps me um, just renew my excitement and my interest um, for the coming season and it always just is just like a special little thing that I do with my kids and um, so today I'm going to share with you what's in our summer basket this year. So first up I am using this lovely little Bergen and Ball trug but I was thinking how fun it would be to do these baskets in um, a sea, a sand castle bucket or you know just like a little kids bucket. We have two of these uh, big jigs buckets and they're sort of squishy ones, uh, red and yellow, and they also come with these fun little trowels. My mum gave these to the boys um, a couple of weeks ago, but otherwise I probably would have used something like that instead. But however, this is still great. So in this basket this year, I have got this lovely sun catcher. Um, I got this from, I think, Myriad Toys. And I absolutely love these. I've got um, one which is a maple leaf with also a sun catcher in the centre. And I use that all autumn and I love it to bits because it does catch the sun and it casts rainbows across the room, which is just so charming. This one I felt was the closest I could get to the whole concept of the sun. Um, and it's a sort of spiral star sun. And I thought that would be perfect for our summer window display. For those of you who don't know, I actually have these really chunky wooden beads strung up on a thread and I have it hanging on one of our large windows in the sitting room and I always use that as a base to decorate. So um, a sun catcher in the centre is always lovely and then we usually hand make some decorations as well um, and hang those up. So that's the first thing in the box and I always uh, try and put window decorations into this basket so it's a fun activity for us to do and change over our display. Um, next up are two little magnifying glasses. Um, this one is from Outdoor Adventure and it's like really, really chunky. And this one's like a smaller one, which I think uh, we got at Christmas time. Um, so these are toys we already had, but they're really functional and they are great to pop into a basket for summer. These would also work really well in autumn time. So highly recommend those. Um, I do have a little pot of paint. This is some Stockmar watercolour paint and it is just a gorgeous thing to paint with. We're going to be doing loads of uh, sun prints, sun mono prints. So a little bit of paint is always handy. And again, that's something I already had, so it wasn't costing me anything. Um, we've also been doing loads of activities around bees at this time of year. And so there is a little uh, bee theme going on in this basket. First of all, I have this really sweet bee Play-Doh stamp. Um, but you could also use this with paint or whatever you wanted to um, and create wrapping paper or cards. Um, I think I got this from the company Willow and Wild. I'll link that below. Um, but you could also DIY something like that quite easily. Um, I have got, in the theme of bees, this little Royal of Beeswax candle kit. It just contains a wick and a piece of um, beeswax and we can roll a beeswax candle together. That is something that we love to do together as a family. Really, really good fun. Um, so I found this in an old craft kit. So I'm going to pop that in the basket. Um, keeping on the bee theme, we also have this block of natural honeycomb. Now, we actually have bees on the farm and I was hoping to get some honeycomb from our beekeepers, but I actually ran out of time. So I did purchase this, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but um, the boys won't know, they, they won't mind. And I just think they will love this. Both of my children are fascinated in the beehives that we have here on the farm. And they're also fascinated with honey. They love honey and they love bees. Um, and they're really getting more and more into the whole idea of how honey is made and bees and, and how they live. So this honeycomb is going to be so exciting for them. Not only is it delicious, but it's also really interesting and kind of like a scientific experiment. 
Um, okay, moving on. I have actually had this boat before, but the puppy got it. So I got the boys a replacement of this little boat. Now this does float on water because it's got a stern and everything like that. So it does balance really well. And this is from the brand Ogas. And I believe I got this off Myriad Toys. Um, I think Conscious Craft in the UK also sell them and probably Bella Luna Toys in the US, I imagine. Um, and if you are in Germany or Europe, probably pretty easy to get your hands on this in most like really lovely Waldorfy shops. Um, so this is obviously gonna be great fun to play with at the beach or in streams and puddles, so a great summer toy. Um, I also picked up this little summer coloring book um, from Myriad and this is very sweet. It's just got little mice and fairies, um, gnomes, pixies in summer scene, scenes. Um, and this is quite a dinky little coloring book. So great for children who perhaps have a little bit better pencil control and can spend a bit more time coloring in the pictures, um, but really, really sweet. I also have a honey dipper in here. This is also great fun, obviously, for serving honey at breakfast time, but also works really well to drip paint onto paper, or you can roll it into Play-Doh, so it has like multiple functions. Oh, I'm really excited about this. Um, this is the most beautiful um, tin or metal sand mold in the shape of a sun. It's just so beautiful, I absolutely love this. Um, and it's enamel really chunky and gorgeous quality and i also got this on myriad toys and i think the brand was something like glock a glockosphere or something like that but i will link it below um there's a few different shapes but i thought the sun was particularly great for the summer solstice summer solstice um i have a spool of ribbon here in a lovely yellow color and um, this is actually for a craft that i'm hoping to do with the children over the coming weeks and that is to make sun streamers um, there's loads of guides on how to make these, but basically you get long um, strips of ribbon and you can either tie them to a stick or you know, secure them onto a stick, or you can attach them to a small bean bag and uh, your child can throw them around. Um, so I'll probably make a couple of different versions using this ribbon. Um, and of course it's in a beautiful sun yellow to celebrate the solstice. Um, and then I've got some sun wildflower seeds so we can make some seed balls together. That's always a really good fun craft to do with kids of all ages and grown ups, really good fun. You just need some clay soil um, or some powdered clay, some compost and some wildflower seeds and you can make really fun seed balls, let them dry and like, um, you know, uh, throw wildflower bombs all over the place, great fun. Uh, pavement chalk is always a fantastic one. Summer is the season of hopscotch and colouring in um, on the pavement. So we have a little bit of pavement outside our house and my kids love hopscotch in particular, but they also love to colour and make pictures on the, on the concrete. Um, so this is a really, really good one to have at hand. So if you do have a place in your house where you can colour on the ground outside, definitely put some pavement chalk into your basket it's such a great activity to do when it's warm outside and you can set up a paddling pool and just spend ages like drawing up games and all sorts of things so highly recommend that um i of course have a couple of um, beautiful decorations for our grim's celebration ring um as you can see i use our celebration ring all the time it's just got a cow and a pig and a flower at the moment but i've got this octopus and starfish so i'm going to be putting that on our celebration ring and then I have um, a sea sponge. Um, again, there was a theme of bees, but also the sea in this basket. And um, yeah, my children are obsessed with the sea and they just, I think they're just gonna go wild for the sea sponge personally. I know it's a little bit random, but this is just gonna be so much fun and it'll make bath time really exciting, but also a great thing to add into um, a water play activity. If you have a big basin, you can put some sponges, droppers, um, squirty bottles, things like syringes, carpal syringes, things like that, outside on a hot day, and you can let your children just play uh, with the water, or you could get this soap saturated with the water and throw it at each other, and it could be really good fun. Um, moving on, I put some crystals in. These ones are natural citrine, so they have, um, it's gonna be kind of hard to show you, but they have more of a natural color, so it's not bright yellow, they're more sort of like kind of browny almost. Um, and these are for my youngest son, who is now four. He loves treasure. He's very obsessed with this concept of treasure. So 
Um, I love crystals, but I think you will love the concept of these just being really beautiful and kind of like tre pirate treasure for him. Again, these would be great act added into like a sensory tray. Um, obviously, you have to be careful about uh, choking hazards. Um, all these would be beautiful on a nature table, a seasonal nature table. Okay, firing on through this, I do apologize. I am talking really fast, but it is actually the summer solstice today and I have a really short window to record this and upload it. So I'm going full speed ahead um, and hopefully it all makes sense and you can understand what I'm saying. Um, okay, so next up, I picked up this I Spy at the Seaside. It says, spy it, score it. And I thought this was quite a fun idea, actually. So what it does is it gives you lots of different um, situations that you might find at the seaside. Um, so there's sand fun, for example. And then you get points when you find different things or do different things. So here we've got sand drawing, sand castle, sand sculpture, burying yourself in sand, and beach ball. And then you get to take off and uh, get a score. Um, and then there's candy floss, fish and chips, ice cream van, sweet shop, um, rock pool, there's all these things that you'd find in rock pools. So this is quite fun because um, the ships that you might see. So if you are going to be spending some time at the seaside and beach, something like this would be great for slightly older children um, who love the idea of finding things and taking them off and uh, getting a score at the end. Um, and yeah, you can also get a certificate um, online. So once you've got your score, you can go online and get a certificate. So these are really cheap, I think about three pounds, um, but really good fun. And I can imagine slightly older children loving this. Um, so I think my boys are, are pretty much getting at the age now where they understand the concept of, of getting, um, ticking things off and I spy and things like that. So um, I really, really like that. Um, and I like that it's really affordable too. Of course, I have silks. Uh, we still play with silks loads in this house and also they're a great base for nature tables, which we love to do as well. Um, so I've got um, this lovely sort of mustardy gold colour and also a gorgeous Sarah silks in green. And then finally in the basket, I have these lovely um, crayons. So these are bug shaped crayons. Let me open them up. So here we go, hope you can see that. So um, we have a lovely bee, there's a snail. I'll just hold them up, you can see them there. Um, and yeah, these would also be great for autumn, but I just thought my boys are so into bees and mini beasts at the moment. And I have put in our magnifying glass um, and I just found this has been a real natural theme for the kids at the moment, finding insects and bugs around the house, outside, um, um, on the containers and things like that. They absolutely love it. Uh, we were doing a bit of gardening yesterday and we found two huge snails and the boys were so fascinated and I was fascinated. So I think they'll appreciate these crayons as well. Now I do have a couple more things, but these didn't fit into the basket, but I wanted to show you anyway because um, they might give you some inspiration. Um, this is a sensory board from, I think Mo Moody Makes, I think is the brand. Um, and it's really simple, it's just like carved out, a little carved out bee on this wood board. And this is really fun because you can put sand in here or you can put um, little pom-poms or chickpeas. So if you have a child that's still enjoying sensory play, these boards are really nice um, gift, great for presents for kids or uh, seasonal baskets or Christmas or anything like that. Um, this is a little bit sad looking, but I did want to include this because um, it's such a great thing to put into a summer seasonal basket. And that is um, sun print paper. Um, this is from our Mother Bloom box a couple of years ago, I think now. And I actually never used this particular uh, paper, but um, it was on our list of things to do. So I am bringing it out this summer. Probably not going to put it in the basket because it looks a bit sad. Um, but I know it's there and we will definitely use it and you can purchase this everywhere and it's really really good fun activity for children who are old enough to kind of do this kind of craft. Now this is huge. <laughs> so as you can see this notebook was not going to fit into um, our seasonal basket at all but it's lovely actually it's got this lovely textured um, outside paper and then the inside paper is really beautiful it's like homemade paper. Um, and I got this off Myriad Toys and the idea of this is it's going to be my son's uh, nature book. 
So we're going to print, um, not print, what am I thinking? We're going to press some flowers and we're gonna do some drawings um, as well and things like that um, this summer outside. And I'm really, really excited um, to use this book as our summer journal. Um, so I thought that was a nice idea as well to start a seasonal journal. Um, and then finally uh, is this gorgeous box by Peas and Pods. And this is their midsummer box. Now, Peas and Pods have stopped selling their physical boxes, but actually it's even better now because you can just download all this stuff um, off their website. I think it costs like 9.50 per download. Um, so that's better because if you live in, in the US or something like that, you can now access these boxes. So I'm gonna show you what's in them. Um, so it comes with um, these little guidebooks that give you ideas of crafts and then there's some craft items in the box but honestly this is the stuff the craft stuff is so easy to get and um, there's really just some little yellow um, cupcake uh, cases a embroidery hoop a little ribbon some lavender seeds some small clothes pegs a straw some wax paper and a wooden sun. So these are all things you could definitely pick up um, from most craft places quite easily. And then you could just buy the downloadable box and print it off. So this is what it comes with. Um, there's an activity to do a hoop sun catcher. Um, there's a section on sensory mindfulness, uh, baking sun bread. There's the sun mono prints. Um, there's how to make a sundial clock and a sundial out of sand at the beach. These sweet paper suns, which is a nice cutting activity, and then using your clothes pegs and a paper sun. Uh, there's a Montessori sun activity called the power of the sun, and that's where you use the wooden sun and these cards of, of living things. So there's all these sorts of different animals, herbivores, omnivores, um, flora and fauna, that kind of thing. There's an intro card, there's a poem, um, there's some little um, ideas to play outside. Um, that's for the sundial clock. Then there's the bit for the peg sun, some sun facts, and then the layers of the sun, astronomical seasons, and then these um, cut out um, words to match up on this. Um, so really lovely box. I really, really like these peg and um, peas and pod boxes. I think they're really, really sweet. Um, and I'm so glad that they've carried on selling the boxes as a, down as a digital download because they're just perfect for my four or five, six year old. Like really good, um, really good level. So there's a little bit of sensory play. There's a little bit of science learning. Um, at the moment, actually, we're doing the bee box that I also purchased because it's on sale. So if you're in the UK, all these boxes are really cheap at the moment. Um, but yeah, we did these three part Montessori cards with the different bees and then you match them up. So um, we're still doing tons of bee learning at the moment and my kids are loving it. <laughs> Um, I'm so glad I've been able to dash into the kitchen and record this for you. I hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry that I've rushed through, um, but it is funny. I spend so long planning these videos and then I don't know why I left it so long to record, but some of the bits did take forever to come, like the crystals only came the other day and I wanted all the bits to be here. Um, the one thing that didn't arrive actually was, so as you can see over here, I love these Waldorf family circles. And I had actually purchased blank one of blank circles um, in sort of this MDF, um, but it hasn't arrived yet. And the idea was that I was going to make my own summer board for the kids. However, I would just like to say that these Waldorf family boards are so great. And every time I haven't purchased one um, for our collection, and I've literally only got summer left now, um, I always regret it because they are such a lovely decoration in our house um, and they just make me happy more than anybody. Um, so I do highly recommend them. In fact, I might just buy the summer one and then when the boards finally arrive, I might just do something fun on them. So um, I thought that was quite a nice idea. Um, I'm just going to go through my list on my phone because I did have a big list of things that... Um, sort of ideas to put in the in the basket so um, here we go let's just see what I didn't put in 
Um, so I also was going to put in some glitter, some EK glitter, to celebrate um, midsummer, you know, just for me and the kids, just lather ourselves with some um, glitter or some face paint. Um, but I do actually have some glitter in my makeup, uh, makeup kit that I never use, so we've been using that. Um, and also it saves me from buying EK glitter, which I'm not sure is that environmentally friendly. Um, a kite would be brilliant fun as well to bring down to the beach um, or fly in the park on a windy day. Um, I was going to get some beach pebbles and paint them as food, uh, so paint them as different types of food to add to our mud kitchen. And I actually think that anything from mud kitchen would be a great addition into the summer basket. Um, I'm going to make the kids a beach scavenger hunt um, and I'm also going to add that into the basket. Um, I'm also going to do a planning sheet to fill out as a family. Um, and if you are interested, I have just, well, last month I uploaded a slow parenting workshop over on my Patreon, um, which is called Rooted and Rooted Membership. So if you're interested, you can head over to the link to Rooted and you can check out that workshop. It is a membership, so it's every month, but you can cancel any time. Um, so if you just want to sign up for one month, you can watch the workshop and then cancel. Um, but I think what I will do is do a family planning sheet for summer and I'm going to put that up on that Patreon. Um, so if you want to download that, you can head over there. Um, I wanted us to make butterfly headbands this year, so that's something we're going to do. Um, I was thinking about adding yellow yarn into the basket because um, my youngest is quite interested in finger knitting. Crystals I added, we're going to make the stick streamers, um, gold paper. And actually that's what I did forget to add in. And I do have gold paper in our craft drawers here. Um, oh, a lovely idea that I had actually was to make your own sun catches. So if you have very crafty kids or you have slightly older children, you can buy beautiful um, multifaceted crystals that you can then string up together with colored beads and paper and all sorts of things and hang those in the windows and make sun catches. Um, closed peg butterflies are also one of my favorite crafts to make for the kids. Um, yeah, I think little potion making kits, that would be great fun. Um, white t-shirts and some fabric paint, and you can make your own summer t-shirts. Um, anything else? I think that's everything. Oh yeah, and the sand mold is Gluck Stuffer. There we go. Um, so there we go. Hopefully I've given you loads of ideas now. So that's it for today's video. Before you go, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, a comment, and do head over and check out my slow parenting workshop over on my Rooted membership, which is hosted on Patreon. I'll link everything below, and you can also sign up for my newsletter, um, which is a slow seasonal living newsletter. And I also send out links to my uh, seasonal podcast, Nature and Nourish, through that. Um, so be sure to sign up for the newsletter, that's free. Um, and yeah, that's it. Have a stunning summer. Um, and yeah, I'm wishing you lots of love and um, a beautiful summer ahead. Bye.